one of those sad stories, but it was one um, that's been remembered in history and it's going to be the centre theme of the Liverpool um, tribute to the Titanic in April. So we'll just move along now. Let's see, crowds have gone down a little bit. Very busy today in uh, Liverpool. It's probably the sun's come out, it's beautiful. Just cross over one of these many bridges. Some beautiful shops in the Albert Dock as well. Which uh, I pretty, pretty much uh, visited several times in the last year or so. <coughs> Liverpool's becoming my second home, it seems. Absolutely love it here. I love the people. I love the atmosphere. I love their attitude. And um, so friendly. It's unbelievable. Really. Very, very close community. Probably said that now, I'll get mugged. <laughs> I jest. So here's the Tate Liverpool. Um, I went in there last year. It's very similar to the Tate Modern, really. Um, i.e. I don't understand any of the art. But some of it was really interesting and quite nice. Um, so this is the actual Albert Dock. Made famous on television when um, Richard and Judy originally started their TV breakfast show. It was filmed here in the Albert Dock. And some of you might remember they used to have the weather map floating out in the Albert Dock. Um, I can't remember his name, Fred, wasn't it? He was the river man. Anyway, we're going to have a quick walk around the Albert Dock. Again, you can see the uh, cathedral through there. Sailing, diving, power boating, marine academy. Bit of music going on there. My own. Uh, ah, the spinners. I know, I thought I recognised the music. It's called It's Not the Leaving of Liverpool. This Tate Gallery restaurant. Cafeteria. <laughs> it's really worth doing the coach tour this morning. I wasn't sure whether to book myself onto a tour, but then it took me to places I would have never have gone. And hearing the actual history and the story behind things really brings it to life. Right in the middle there. I can zoom in a little bit. You can see the uh, the dome of the Catholic Cathedral. Um, it was built in the 70s. Ultra modern, really nice inside. And um, I remember watching the documentary about the building of of that. And um, Ricky Ricky Tomlinson of the royal family actually had a job there as a plasterer. And, but often talks about stories about working there. Actually, I read his book and he talks quite a lot about that. A souvenir shop with lots of Liverpool stuff. Oh, and a, and a few, a few Everton bits as well. <laughs> we'll move on. It's quite similar to St. Catherine's Dock in London, but a lot bigger I would say. The shops are quite similar. Um, ooh, sweet shop there. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm quite busy now because we're getting quite close to the uh, the Beatles story exhibition so it gets a little bit busy around this side and of course you've got the ferris wheel and uh, goodness knows what there you got quite a nice view from this side of the uh, library building there in the Echo Arena. Lots of food, restaurants and bars. I should imagine it's quite buzzing here in the night time. Um, I never made it this far the last time I came up here in the night time. I was staying in a hotel up quite near um, Liverpool Football Club and uh, it was so nice the evening. I never got any further than the bar. <laughs> Met a gang of people there, Liverpool supporters, and uh, we got chatting, and the beer was flowing, and that was it, really. There's a nautical shop, loads of stuff about Titanic in it. It's quite similar to the one, as I said, in St. Catherine's Dock in London, which is one of my favourite areas for going for a cup of coffee on a Sunday. Not met too many tourists around because they don't know about it. There's another Impressions of Liverpool. Hmm. Two thousand and eight of course Liverpool was the European capital of culture. And actually, they've got huge amounts of um, art in the city, museums, um, and all the war free as well. Everything like that is free in Liverpool, which is wonderful. So it's a great place to come, and you can come here really cheap. Um, there's a National Express coach station right in the middle of the city. There's Lime Street Station, of course, right in the middle of the city. There are the tunnels. Uh, the Mersey Tunnel is £1.50 each way for car if you want to cross the Mersey. Because on the other side of the Mersey, a new Brighton area. I haven't been myself, but I was talking to a lady this morning on the coach and she was saying it, she comes from there. Beautiful beaches. Stunning. So again, that's worth a trip. There's an underground, so you can catch the underground. Um, which of course obviously goes under the um, Mersey to Birkenhead and to uh, the Wirral. So here we are, we've done the circle of the Albert Dock, we've come out the other side. A lot of these areas are used for um, sporting events, um, canoeing, windsurfing, that kind of stuff. And actually one of these docks I think it's around the other side, it's actually used all year round for water polo but it's actually water polo played from canoes um, which is becoming a very popular and attractive sport apparently I shouldn't imagine it's very easy being in a canoe trying to play water polo but uh, they've obviously got experts that do it well I'm going to walk back towards the um, city area. You can see how bright it is, it's absolutely lovely. turned out lovely. Considering it was, um, when I came out onto the deck on the ship this morning, I put my, my hand on the rail, it was covered in ice. Um, um, it's certainly not like that today, whether it would be like that overnight. We're sailing uh, off to Northern Ireland, so docking in Belfast tomorrow morning quite early hopefully it won't be too choppy not that it bothers me too much or it hasn't so far I quite enjoy it actually but a lot of people were actually physically sick I don't really want that to happen right I'm just going to move out the way all this Okay, so that's pretty much a 
circuit from the ship right down to the Albert Dock and back towards the ship the way we came. So, you can see it's a very walkable area, it's not um, too difficult and it's all fairly even, so there's not too many steps and things for people. It's quite easy for people to do. There's one of our coaches there, look. They were obviously just coming back from a tour there from our ship. That red ship there is actually, uh, as you can see, it says on the side, it's a bar. Used to be a lighthouse ship, obviously. See the modern buildings uh, putting up either side of the uh, historic buildings there. Uh, really spent an awful lot of money on the city. I'm going to go up into the centre of the city and the shops and just in case I miss something, you know. Um, as I said, we're not, we're not sailing until half past seven. So I got an hour or two to kill and we're going to be on board ship now on, until we get to Belfast. So it's quite nice to stretch the legs. Um, all you tend to do on ship, as you probably know, is sit around watching shows and eating. That seems to be the main thing. Although you can walk around the deck, all the way around the deck on this ship. Four circuits equals one mile. So I've certainly done that more than once. Um, keep the legs moving. Didn't actually go to dinner last night because it was um, it was one of those dressing up nights and I, one, I really didn't fancy it and two, I never brought the suit so that sort of <laughs> put the, uh, the final decision. I wasn't no way going to hire a suit for just for a meal. So um, I had dinner in the cabin. A little bit of luxury. Okay, I'm going to switch off now because I'm heading in towards the city. So um, hopefully my next video will be made in uh, Belfast. Speak soon. Bye.